lovely Katsia. Um, I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope y'all are having a wonderful week, month, year, all the things. Um, I hope you guys are being productive, doing your thing, having fun, enjoying your year, staying connected to God, praying, worshiping, enjoying life, you know, all the great things I hope you guys are doing. And yes, I know you're probably thinking, Kessia, Kessia, where have you been? And I'll tell you where I've been. I, tell, I will tell you guys what's been going on. I have not had a chance to talk to Bestie Gang in five million years, it feels like. Um, just being dramatic. But with good reason, y'all, I haven't just been ducking and diving. My life has been in, experiencing like a lot of changes. Literally, so many changes. But let's get into it. So let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Your girl um is well was engaged now married because <laughs> i already went to the courthouse y'all i went to the courthouse um october 4th but i was engaged um for a little like five seconds because we went ahead and went to the courthouse pretty quickly um but yeah this we're still having a ceremony you guys we're still having a ceremony reception super excited for that because it's coming up but everything was kind of put in, into X Games mode. Um, but yeah, I mean, when you know, you know. When you want to be with the person and you guys are sure of each other. And you know that um, you're going to continue to choose each other. Because love is not just a feeling. It's also a choice. To continually stay committed and um, in love with a person is a choice and a commitment. And a serious one at that. Um, but yeah, I am now a married woman. My... You know, made a name for to be chop. You know what I'm talking about? Have not got my name changed yet. Planning on doing so probably after um, we go on a honeymoon. Um, but depending on how soon we plan on doing that, because, you know, work and stuff and all the things. <coughs> Excuse me. And I recently had a break from work. Y'all, it's how my voice is, is going. Y'all hear that? That don't sound like it's. And you know what? I would be in the name of Jesus. My voice will stay intact. But yeah, I probably just need to drink some tea. And the weather is changing. The weather is changing drastically out there. So I know it probably has a huge um, thing to do with that too. It's cold, y'all. It's cold and the weather dropped out of nowhere. Literally out of nowhere. But we digress. Um... I'm just super excited for everything that's coming up. Um, weddings coming together, but you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, keep me lifted up in prayer. If you pray to Jesus Christ and you love him with your whole heart and, and you one of the saints, for real, for real, not for fake, keep me lifted up in prayer. Otherwise, just send well wishes. No hate, all love. But yeah, I need Jesus to be in this situation real heavy. So come together, saints of God. Kobo Shata. Um, but yeah, I'm mean, really excited though because it feels like things are really coming together. Um, the way that he proposed to me is really simple and cute and honestly is fitting for us because as much as I enjoy like grand, you know, stuff or whatever, like really big deals about things, it could be great. But sometimes certain things I feel like just needs to be intimate. We had an intimate proposal, which is ideal because sometimes it's, I don't know, I... It's a hit or miss for me when people do public stuff, but intimate stuff is never a miss. It's almost a guaranteed 10 out of 10 for me because you can really be heart to heart, um, love on each other, have all the vibes, and it just goes well. So I'm glad that he took the intimate route. No hate to the girls who have the big public diddly because that's beautiful too. There's beauty in intimacy and there's beauty in grand gestures. And yeah, but I'm really happy with how the proposal went. Um, I'm really happy with the ring that he chose. <clears throat> to be quite honest, when we're discussing like our future and oh, we're gonna be married, da, 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 I was like, okay, well, whenever the day does propose, these are the kind of rings I want. And so I gave him a blueprint and he stuck to it, which is great because I hate for somebody to freestyle and get something I don't like. <laughs> like, I'm one of those, please, 
if you need help finding a gift, if you need help figuring it out, ask my family, ask me. But if you try to keep it super, super top secret, ask my family. They know too, because I'm very clear cut. I even have a whole Pinterest board of engagement rings and different styles that I like. So <laughs> I was one of those girlies. But yeah, um, super excited because a lot of great things are happening. We are gonna move into an apartment together fairly soon. Very excited for that. Um, I, if you know me, you know that the only time that I have ever lived on my own was when I was in college. Um, I've never been outside of my parents' house outside of that. <clears throat> so it's crazy that my first time moving out is gonna be because I'm a married woman. <clears throat> Excuse me, because I'm, a, hold on, let me get some water. This, because I'm, <laughs> like, dang. I literally just chugged a bottle of water and I got another bottle because my voice is going in and out a little bit. But yeah, so we're, it's crazy because the first time I'm living away from home is gonna be because I'm a married woman now. Like literally, that's crazy. Um, but move-in date is a little bit before the wedding. Um, so probably not gonna do too, too much prior to um, the wedding. Probably just gonna move over. Honestly, the apartment's close to my parents' house, so I'm gonna move over my essentials so that I can sleep there, and like the clothes that I regularly wear, so I can sleep there and, and work there and all the things and handle everything. Cause I know I work from home. You'll probably see my setup in the back, my monitors and my laptop. Um, but but yeah, like I'm not gonna rush to move everything over. Just my essentials, just the stuff that I really need to have. Um, my day-to-day -day and the clothes that I need to get through um, but I'm gonna tr my goal is to have everything moved over before um, the end of November so that's my game plan hopefully that is the case um, but we shall see uh, but yeah it's a really nice apartment super excited um, there was another apartment I tried to move forward with prior to they gave me a lot of problems had to get involved with the higher ups in, the, um, in management because there was a whole just situation that went left. Um, it was a beautiful complex, but for the amount of money that we would be paying and the amount of mess we were dealing with before even stepping foot there and signing the lease was crazy. So yeah, you guys, whatever you feel that unction in your spirit, when the Lord tells you, maybe you shouldn't go with whatever, listen to God because I was about to sign this lease and all this and, and all this. And when I was looking, I asked God, God, like, where should we live? Where should we live? Like, how do you feel, God? And I felt like the Lord told me the apartment complex that I now signed a lease with. But my heart really, really wanted to go with the other one just because it was more, more like, I guess, I don't even know. It just, it was really pretty. But the apartment complex I'm going to now is pretty too. But it, the other one was like just really, really like aesthetically, like super, super, super aesthetically pleasing. But it was just a few things that I was like, not really worth it. Cause I can still get the aesthetically pleasing vibes of another place with less hassle. And I should have stuck to my guns. And you know, I was about to move forward with the process. I really was. And we had to back it up on out. Cause they was acting a fool down at this apartment complex. We digress. Um, but yeah, that's happening. A lot of things are happening pretty quickly. Um, but you know what? I'm batting down the hatch. My hat, the hatches. Is that the saying? Batting down the hatches. I don't know. Anyways, I'm really just embracing for. I don't, don't want to say impact, but like transitioning into the new and try my best to do it with grace and with peace. And a lot of times, like, whenever you're, like, making those maneuvers and stepping into new areas and arenas in life, like, it can come with a little bit of stress and anxiety and a little bit of worry. But when you know you're making the right decision, you're going to feel more peace than anything. Like, even in moments where you should feel like, oh, you're going to feel God's peace about it. And I feel God's peace about it, and I've been prayerful about this, and I'm super excited. And it's crazy because my pastor said this was going to be the year of horsepower. And when I tell you, boop, 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 hit the ground running, a lot has happened this year. So 
but I'm grateful. I'm happy. I'm in a good headspace. Um, my husband is excited about everything too. We're just ready to get our lives started together and enjoy each other and just, you know, chase after all of our dreams and make this happen. Make this thing called life happen for us in the best way possible. Of course, we want to have kids. Um, and we will in the name of Jesus. That's going to be a thing. Period. Um, and of course, we want to travel and enjoy life and make memories together and just, you know, have our little family. Like, that's, that's, it has to be a thing. It's just going to be a thing. Um, and so just being prayerful about that, stewarding those things well, and trusting that God's plan for our life will come into fruition um, so long as we stay in alignment with him and continue to pray. That's just my MO. You know, in this thing called life, you need to be pray with specificity. Ask God with specification of with and with anticipation and expectation of what's to come. You know, and God is not a genie. He does not have to do something just because you're asking and praying for it. If it's not his will, it's not his will. If it's not his big old card, it's not his big old card. But he's still good even in that. Even in that, God is still good. So let's keep that in mind. Um, but you know, really, really, really inviting God in to your life because you know, God has foresight, God has knowledge and an awareness of things that supersede any of the things our mind could even wrap around, supersede any of the things that we're even aware of. So inviting the creator of the universe in, inviting Jesus in and asking Jesus to help you order your steps, inquiring, is this the direction you want me to go that direction? Like God, give me clarity, praying with specificity about things, being extremely specific, okay, is necessary. And so I've been definitely being intentional about being specific regarding the things um, that are concerned in my heart, regarding my future, regarding me and my husband's future, regarding my husband's life, praying with specificity, being intentional about these things regularly is a, a, it's, it's a necessity. Like you have to, literally, don't, don't walk, run to God about all the things concerning your life. But yeah, so I'm really excited, uh, y'all. Alert. Um, but yeah, and regarding, let's see, what else? I already talked about the engagement. Intimate, really cute. You got a ring I really like. Big fur. Um, wedding coming up really soon. The move. I feel like that's really what's been going on. Um, I'm new jobs going well training and stuff it's a long training process because we work really closely with big wigs from other companies and understandably so we have to train because <laughs> you don't want to put your foot in your mouth you don't want to do the wrong thing one too many times like you know what i'm saying people are forgiving but when it comes to business you need to try and be tact you need to be on your p's and q's but work is going well um, super happy with that. I feel like I have my life back. I've been saying that. I'll continue to say that. I feel like I have my life back. I thank God for that because working in daily rental with Enterprise was a jump scare. I'm not going to lie. It's not for the week. Okay. It's not for the week. You meet a lot of cool people, but burnout can get real, real. Being overworked can be a thing. Feeling like your life is, is not fully yours is it, a thing. And it was something I was experiencing while there. So but it did open the door for this opportunity enterprise itself is an amazing company they take care of their people it really isn't a bad company to work for at all and you meet a lot of cool people working in daily rental and even outside of daily rental because now that i'm working from home in a diff completely different sector of enterprise i'm still meeting a lot of cool people i'm still enjoying the engagements and the connections that i'm making even in this new role but it just looks different because i work from home now but yeah i mean Everything's going pretty well. I thank God for that. And for the things that aren't perfect or exactly how I see it to be, I still count on all joy because God can make beauty from ashes. God can turn around whatever circumstance. And God is still good even when everything isn't going perfectly or you, even if everything in your life isn't good. You know what I'm saying? There, There's still, there is still a beauty um, in, in this thing called life, even when things aren't perfect. Granted, right now, life is going pretty well. There have been some rifts and runs and things that I've had to work through. My life is not perfect. Please know this. There are things that I deal with privately 
There are things that other people deal with privately. Don't ever be envious. Don't ever be jealous. Don't ever be any of those things. Because nobody on this earth, even someone with the shiniest looking life, they have something that they're working through, something they're dealing with, things that may not be ideal. You never know. Stuff that you might even be like, dang, I didn't even know they had that going on. I couldn't handle it. So y'all, this is not a video to gloat. Ooh, 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 this is just the catch up with me video. This is just the, this is where things are video. Literally. But trust, everybody's fighting their own battle. Everybody has their own stuff going on. Things, I don't share my entire life with you. And nobody does. And I'm adding this to another video because I know some people, there might be people out there like, dang, I've been waiting to be married. Dang, I've been waiting to move out. Dang, I don't have the money for this. Or I'm not getting this job. Or I'm blah, 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 blah. Baby girl, baby boy, whoever. Honey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Not everything in this life is given. And even if it looked like it was just the, oh, this is so easy. They got this, da, da, da. That's not always the case. My life is far from perfect. God has blessed me, but I've also had my fair share of trials and tribulations through all these blessings. So love your life and trust God's plan for your life. If you get anything from this video, trust God's plan for your life. Trust God's timeline for your life. Submit your, your, your will to God. And let God's will be done in your life because it will be the best outcome. And it may not come packaged how you think it should be packaged. It, it might be a very unique tactic to get you to where you need to go or get things to where it needs to be. But trust that if it's a God thing, it is a good thing. And if it's in God's hands, it is well. Even if it doesn't feel like it is well, God is good, so it is well. Trust God. Invite God in. Don't be envious, don't be jealous, don't be nothing about nobody else's life. The grass is always green on the other side. And maybe this person just came out of a real crazy season and God is putting them in a blessing season, a season of fruitfulness. Maybe you're in the middle of your, your um, yea thou walk through the valley of the shadow of death season, but you're being fruitful, multiplying, and glory to glory season might be just right around the corner. So continue to press in with God and walk this thing out. And everything you desire out of this life, God willing, will be yours at the appointed time. But that's all I got for you guys today. I know I sound a little crazy. My voice, uh, my voice is shot. And I'm a little sinusy because it is freezing. And I was already having sinus issues because my allergies and stuff prior to this. So this weather change kind of kicked me in the throat. You know what I'm talking about? But we digress. Um, God bless you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you already know, hit me up on my socials. Comment down below. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe, lock in. Bestie, what are you doing? Lock in with your girl so we can do this thing called life together. Um, I love you. God loves you. I am so, 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 so happy to be back chatting with you guys, period. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.